Hello YouTube modelers, welcome back to my channel. I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers for tuning in. Today will be a kit revisit of a past build of mine. It is the AMT Ertl 1967 Chevrolet Impala Super Sport. This is a pretty good kit to put together. I was very surprised by the amount of detail and modern tooling. So let's take a look at it. I built this kit fairly recent, probably in the 2000s, so we're talking about 10 or 15 years ago. Um, it is finished in a tester's metallic blue. The interior is also blue, but I forgot what it was, whether it was light blue or whatever, but it is blue on blue. Um, some things I would do differently now is probably I would wire the engine I would probably wet sand and clear coat the body paint and then polish it and then of course instead of using a fine paintbrush I would probably use Molotow or a Sharpie to do some of the fine detailing trim but it is a very, very nice kit. I had a great time um, building this. Um, and some of the trim is slightly different from the 1960 or 50 Impalas I usually build. For example, on the bottom, you have the chrome trim around the wheel wells, but also this black trim on the bottom, which I discovered um, surfing the internet. But it is a very... Um, good clean build and I always like that 67 sloping fastback style in the back that sloping rear window very nice let's take a look at the interior the shifter in the middle that big 427 Has the heater hoses. I wished I wired it, but and also that this was before I bought a magnifying glass. So if you notice the grid lines on the headlight, they don't quite run vertical or horizontal. Some of them are diagonal because back then I couldn't quite see without the magnifying lens. So I just glued the um, headlights on, and then I realized, oh, the lines don't. Quietly, quite go horizontal or vertical. Um, but I did fill in the slots, the five slots, with flat black. I did not black wash it. That's probably something I would have done now. And they did not supply an outside side mirror, which I wish they did. Um, doing the trim work in the back tail light is a little bit of a challenge. And of course, the Fender emblem specifying 427 with the Chevy cross flags. So let's take a look at underneath. Since the frame is separate, I was able to paint it in spray paint silver, and then the chassis, the um, the chassis is flat black, and then the frame I was able to do in separate color. But you have to be careful when you sandwich them together because if you notice the exhaust, parts of it go under while some parts go over the axle. So just make sure you follow the sequence or else you're not going to be able to piece them together correctly. But overall, a really nice build. I had a great time. Highly recommend this kit. Pretty advanced for an AMT kit. We'll have stills at the end. Hope you guys enjoy this revisit. Thanks for watching. 